Thank you, Azul89, for the follow. Appreciate it, my friend. Welcome. Enjoy the games. Getting the zoom locked in, and we do have an orc mirror underway. The top left, Armin VB. We are now in the best of eight. Back to Warcraft sent me here as well. Thank you so much for the referral from Carson, as always, doing such an incredible job over at Back to Warcraft. The entire team, always top notch, top tier. And as always, please support Back to Warcraft anytime they're live. They're doing so much for the community. They have so much planned to make this game great once again. MVPs, Back to Warcraft, War 3 Info, War 3 Champions. When this game could have easily died a year and a half ago. They didn't give up. They kept going. They carried the community on their shoulders. And look where we are now. We have cups every week. Coverage every week. They're cracking 14,000 viewers. They're doing such a great thing over there at Back to Warcraft. Carson, Bidu, Neo, Remo. Love everything they're doing. Thank you so much for coverage today and anytime I get referred much appreciated thank you so much all right here we go going grunts from Armin potentially some grunts as well from Razor Man no war mills online yet Farseer coming out versus Blade Master should be quite interesting here looking forward to this matchup here Going to get a Voodoo Lounge right in the mid-map here. Very interesting placement from Razor Man. Razor Man moving on up. Ready to buy everything he needs for this early game here. A player's force Scroll speed attack. clarity. And salves. Meanwhile, Blade Master opting to just start creeping first. Going to get off to a... You know, more calm start here. Wolf, I don't believe, was able to grab that XP. Oh, it did. Farseer did snipe that XP. So great wolf steal there. Able to steal the turtle, Razor Man, soaking up a little bit of that XP from that creep camp. It's the Blade Master in uh, a little compromised position here. 200 health. But able to wind walk back, pop that salve, get back up to full. Peons in the burrows pushing back these wolves. Blade Master also just interrupted just in time as the Windwalk Slash was coming down. Wolves resummoned, preventing any XP gain from the Blade Master. Razor Man sensed it. He knew it. And knew it was the right time to resummon those wolves. Able to get one of those kills on the, the Feral Spirits here. Razor Man continuing to poke and prod at the Blade Master. Armin VB. The dance now has begun. Both players poking into one another. Tier 2 has begun for both players. Armin VB's Tier 2 is a little bit earlier. How will that advantage stack up into the mid-game now? Wolves going to town onto the Voodoo Lounge. A Voodoo Lounge kill would be disastrous for Armin VB, and he knows this, getting to repairing it right away. Both Feral Spirits continuing to poke. Preventing Armin from doing any sort of creeping and getting to that critical level too. Granted critical strike. Nice deny from Razor Man. And Blade Master has some new plans now. Potentially going to run on down and pay a visit to the Orc Town himself. Razor Man doesn't seem to care. He's just going to stick around. He's got that scroll speed. He can get back quick if he needs to. The two grunt, two feral spirit, farseer push of Razor Man continuing to be quite effective here. Blade Master back in town, trying to get some auto attacks on to the just nuisance of a farseer. Continually in the face of Armin VB. Armin not able to really make any progress here. Stuck at level one with the Blade Master, 40%. But the farseer also stuck at 1.1. Again, the only kill Razor Man has gotten was that turtle. That turtle jack in the beginning. Armor VB pushing to the back of the base. Wants to get healed back up to full. Wolf trying to come in and cancel some of those heal salves. Woke up and just in time. Blade Master does get the slice in to prevent any sort of cancel. Wolves resummoned back. Focusing on the Voodoo Lounge once again. 
Getting some heal salve cancels himself. The Farseer now canceling all the salves of the army of Armin. Armin trying to get some sort of momentum here to push back Razor Man. Get some breathing room. Get up to level 2. As tier 2 is now online, Spirit Lodge on the way. Tier 2 for Razor Man backing it. Opting for Berserk uh, Brute Strength right away here. Getting those grunts 100 more hit points and more attack damage. Blade Master constantly spying on Razor Man as he does see the all-in attempt from Razor Man going for the Fire Lord Farseer push. Armin VB counters with a Shadow Hunter. Hopefully the healing, but he's going to need some dispels to deal with those summon units. There's going to be so many summon units on the field from Razor Man. Razor Man backing up, getting into better position here. Scroll speed popped. Hopefully trying to deal with that burrow. Is there enough attack power to get that burrow down? So much repair capability from the orc. Eight peon, or six peons going to town on the burrow. It does fall. Some of Razor Man's fire summons are now falling as well. Feral Spirits eating away at the Blade Master. Shadow Hunter getting some auto attacks off. Odd to the Grunts. Grunts falling slightly from both players in now wounded territory. Armored VB potentially going to lose a Grunt does fall. Shadow Hunter has some mana for some chain healing. Scroll speed is popped. Peons have now turned onto Razor Man, trying to get some attack damage themselves. Blade Master has now revealed itself, did pop a healing potion, now back up to around 40% health in some good position here. Hex used on the Farseer, trying to get some lockdown, trying to get some kills. TP is popped. And finally, for the first time this game, Armin VB going to get a little bit of breathing room as Razor Man retreats back home. Coming up now, double bestiary going in snare raiders, coming, getting some lockdowns on the me the heavy melee army of Armin VB. Exclusively grunts right now. No casters being put into production just yet. Opting to buy another potion of healing. So Razor Man does visit the shop. Still stuck on level 1 here. Blade Master on level 2. Was able to get Critical Strike. That is certainly going to help. And the goal will be get some lockdowns with Hex. Get some of those nice crits onto the heroes. And try to push the just the momentum of Razor Man back. More raiders continuing to come. Was Pillage trained? Having that extra resource advantage via pillage will be so nice, especially for those raiders. Razor Man opting to creep, giving Armin a little bit of breathing room here. Shamans are now out. Purge likely going to be used on the summons. In an attempt to push back the heavy summon army of Razor Man. Now with the assistance of Insnare from the Raiders. Feral Spirits and Lava Spawns online. Lava Spawns ready to start replicating. A lot of Focus Fire onto the Grunts of Armin VB. No chain healing capabilities from Armin at the moment. Just Hex. He is focusing strictly on lockdowns. Focus Fire on Razor Man's Grunt here. One Grunt is going to fall, but the Focus Fire is being returned in kind by Razor Man. Onto Armin VB's Grunt Army as well. Peons are being pulled. The boys are here trying to do all the damage they can to push back Razor Man. Get some more breathing room to get some more Shaman onto the field. Shaman with not a ton of mana left to deal with the summons of Razor Man. Razor Man, two Feral Spirits in play right now. And does Armored VB just have enough damage to push back Razor Man? Razor Man with plenty of food count right now. 46 food, 237 food of Armin. Grunts are continually getting locked down by Ensnare, able to be handled by the siege damage of the Raiders doing full damage to the heavy armor of the Grunt's Blade Master in some good position here. To hopefully trying to get one more snipe on Razor Man does secure the kill. One more Raider in vulnerable position does fall as well. Now 37 food to 46 food. There are some weak units. Armin does smell blood with his Blade Master trying to get in some good position here. Unfortunately, the Wind Walk not as fast as he would like right now does take the Raider down. One more weakened grunt, and I'm sure Armin has his eye on it. Meanwhile, Razor also has his eye on the prize, pushing so far into Armin's base. Gets the lockdown on the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter going to be stuck out of position there in the back, but now does have Healing Wave, able to stabilize this Orc army. Both heroes level twos all around. 
Lava spawns, feral spirits, chain lightning, incinerate, you name it. It's here. Raiders going to town on the shop of Armin. It looks like the shop is going to fall. The siege damage of those raiders is too much to repair. Blademaster not able to get into a good position, but does get to level three. Blademaster opting to take Windwalk level two. Armin able to get into good position here. Chain healing up now to sustain the army of Armin, but one more grunt is going to fall due to being locked down. The lockdown capabilities of these raiders is so much to deal with. Another grunt is going to fall for Armin now, falling to 31 food versus 49 food of Razorman. Razorman just keeping the pressure, not letting the pressure off of the wound of Armin right now. Armin is starting to bleed out littler and littler at a time. The blood is pouring from the wound. The leak will not stop the chain lightning now in effect, but there's so much ensnare capability from these raiders. The amount of raiders is just endless. They keep coming. It seems like they're just multiplying like lava spawns at the moment. More and more raiders. Every time I look at the screen, there's another raider, but there's so many wounded. Not enough mana, and the Shadow Hunter does fall from Razor Man. Level three is granted to both the Farseer and the Fire Lord. One level three Blade Master still online. Will it be enough to push back this all in attempt from Razor Man here? Razor Man now going for the Altar of Storms from the Raiders. Raiders able to do so much damage to those buildings. Blade Master trying to get some slashes off on to the heroes of Razor Man. Push it back. Maybe even get some auto attacks onto these Raiders. Keeps getting ensnared. This is going to be trouble for Armin VB as the Altar of Storms likely going to fall here due to all the constant siege damage from these raiders. However, the Blademaster able to chip away one raider at a time, not giving up, not losing hope. Level four, Blademaster now online. Has enough mana for a wind walk, but not able to get it off. Insnare able to lock the Blademaster down. Razor Man now pretty much has an open opportunity to take down the rest of this base almost un... Wow, look at this. Just in no danger at all, Razorman. Level three heroes now. No heroes online for Armin VB. Armin VB trying to push this Shadow Hunter out. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. The damage output of Razorman just a little bit too much. Armin VB bows out as Razorman moves on to the best of four. Great game from Armin versus Razorman there. And with that, we're going to go look into the Discord, see who is up next. First, let's go to the bracket, see what's going on here. And let's see who we want to target. We could try to target a match here. All right, let's get a refresh in here. We have Hawk, I believe, going on right now. Death Note versus Krasik. I'm not sure if that's going on now. Razor Man proceeding on. Cement versus Cooper. Let's see if Death Note started the game yet. Versus Krasik. And with that, we're going to take a couple minute break as we look to get our next game online. See you all shortly.
We're back a little bit early. I made a mistake. This is a best of three. This is not a best of one. We are now in best of three, best of five territory, and we're going to go to game two. Armin versus Razor Man after a great game one. And some Missa Pandaria music in the background. Not sure how I feel about the mood that this music is setting. For the incredible match we're hopefully about to see with our competitors coming up on Concealed Hill. Because we're going to game two. Fortunately, a little lag here from Razor Man. Hopefully, that'll get resolved quickly. And unfortunately, a little lag uh, from Razor Man. I'll just give you a, a look in, kind of see what's going on here. So we're in the middle of the game, but hopefully our players will be able to recover. Fingers crossed we can keep this going. And no major outages for Razor Man. Right, and fortunately, it looks like we're going to have to restart this game. It's up to the admins. I'm not quite sure what the ruling is here, but I'm thinking we're going to need to re redo this game. All right, well, stand by, everyone. Be trying to get this series back online as soon as possible. It's both players trying to figure out what to do now. Razor Man currently offline, so maybe, uh, maybe an internet outage on their end. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get right back to where we were. With that, let's take a look at the brackets once again. I think Razor Man might be back online right now. He's on mobile. Let's just take a look at the brackets, see what's going on right now. While we wait to get this game restarted. So again, let's get a refresh here. Let me uh, enlarge this too. Make it easier for you all to see. You got Sheik versus Hawk right now in the best three. I believe that's being covered over on Back to Warcraft. So if you're looking for that matchup, head on over there. Show some love. Krasik versus Death Note also going on. Best of three. Best of three Razor Man versus Armin. Covered right here. And Cement versus Cooper. Being covered as well. Best of threes all around in the best of eight. Semifinals up next, followed by the grand finals. Best of five. So just waiting to see what is going to happen here with our players. Unfortunately, some technical difficulties from Razor. We'll hopefully be able to come back online soon enough here. With that, I'm going to quickly... Uh, Exit my game and restart because telling me I am disconnected. <laughs> Although I'm fairly certain nothing is happening at the moment. Let's get this right back online. All right, and we're back in. But unfortunately, no word from Razor Man yet. It's quite unfortunate. And hopefully they'll be able to continue their series. Fingers crossed. So how's everybody doing today? You guys enjoying the stream? Looks like Razor Man back online. Hope you're all enjoying the cast today. Would love any input, any insights into what you'd like to see going forward. Any tournaments you'd like covered. Please let me know. 
would love the feedback. And we might be back up and running soon enough here. Looks like Razor Man back online. As we're uh, trying to get back up and rolling here. Actually, no information yet. Oh, we do have a game name. Beautiful. All right. Looks like we're back online here. Trying to get into the lobby. Not sure if they started. Or if it's not created yet. Unless something's wrong with me? Game not found. So, just hoping uh, we can get into this game before our players get back going. Bear with us one minute here, trying to figure this all out in real time, on the fly. That's how these things go, unfortunately. I could try restarting, I guess. Maybe these players have already started. I'm not getting any responses back. It is possible they already are going at the moment. Which would be unfortunate. Let's try to restart and get this going again here. Maybe I got to restart War 3 Champions. Not quite sure. Or maybe they got started already. And if they did, we'll just we'll just look for the next one here. Not quite sure why I'm getting that alert. Oh, he had another issue. Oh, okay. can't join this either. What is going on? I'm just going to restart War 3 Champions. Alright, let's just try... We're going to restart it all from the top. War 3 Champions getting restarted. Warcraft getting restarted. Sub sub looks like they're having trouble too. <laughs> we've, we've made so many game lobbies trying to get this... Try to get this back up and running here. Thank you again, Armin, for communicating with me in Discord. Appreciate you. Trying our best to get your game covered here. People want to see it. Game not found. Oh, man. What's going on here? We're really having trouble. Oh. We did have it, but I don't see anybody. We were in it. Oh, man. This... War Through Champions is uh, not having a good time today, and uh, looks like our pings are X'd out, so not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, maybe War Through Champions have a little bit of issues today. Yeah. Seemingly have no ping for uh, EU West, at least. So, uh, admins, if you're out there, would love some support if you see what we're seeing. Seeing some issues, unfortunately. 
having trouble joining each other's games. Our, uh, our signal has a big X through it at the moment. I don't know. I have an X too. Yeah, I might have to try being it. I don't know. Unfortunately, W3 Champions having some hiccups at the moment trying to figure this all out on the fly here. I'll, uh, I'll report it. Maybe it's already been reported here. Where is it? Uh, who knows where to report this stuff? Unfortunately, some technical difficulties here. We are doing our best to get our players back into the lobby. Looks like some other people in the community also having some issues. Da -da -da -da. All right, well... Uh I hope it doesn't come down to us having to host this on Bnet, because that would just be not fun, not ideal. We love War 3 Champions. We love Flow. That's what we want. That's what we'd like. Uh, and thank you for the... Uh, for the raid, uh, Hippo, unfortunately, we're, uh, we're stuck. We're stuck. I think, uh, Back to Warcraft's having some problems, so are we. Just to give you a look in, um, everyone's getting these X's through their signals. No matter what game we host, we're having trouble joining each other's games. Oh boy, and, uh, Razorman has joined us five times. <laughs> So, uh, a live look into some of the issues we're having. I see five Razormans. So, uh, yeah. Some small technical difficulties here. Yeah, we could rehost if you guys would like. All right, we're going to try to rehost here. We're going to go back to the uh back to the lobby here. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm still getting that Still getting that X through the, uh, through the thing. Oh, now they're, uh, they're moving to B-Net on the other, the other side of the bracket. We might have to do the same. Not quite sure if we're going to be able to do this on Flow. Flow having some issues. I'm just going to try random servers here. But, like, Razor has no ping. And I can't start. Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, might have to try Bnet. And thank you for the follow Slay Day 2000. Looks like it's working. I'll restart again. All right, let's try this one more time. 
Let's let's cross our fingers, click our shoes, do everything we got to do. We're going to quit War 3 Champions fully. We've canceled it in the taskbar. We've closed it out. Warcraft 3 is fully closed. We're going to click on the play button via the War 3 Champions launcher. Here we go. Fingers crossed, everyone. Come on, flow gods. Give it to us. Oh, I have, uh, I have ping. This is good. All right. This is a good step in the right direction here. And again, thank you for the, for the host, Hippo. It was an honor to cast your game. Thank you. You East Three. All right. Uh, do we got an R from Razor? All right, here we go. We're back up and online. War Three Champions Team, thank you for the quick support. As always, love everything you guys do. And without further ado, we're going to Concealed Hill. Game two. Razor Man versus Armin VB. Here we go. All right, and unfortunately, after a couple hiccups there, and a great game one from Razor Man. Razor Man looking to 2 0 this and move on to the semifinals. Armin VB has other plans in mind, wants to prevent that from happening, take this to game three, and move on to the semifinals himself. Razor Man down in the southwest corner of the map. Opting for the standard barracks opener. No war mills on the menu yet. We didn't see Headhunters last game either. So potentially not going to see it this game. But the question remains, what heroes are we going to see come on out? Razor Man last game opted to go for the Farseer Fire Lord push with some Raiders. For some lockdown, those ensnares, very deadly. Able to contain the Blade Master, prevent the amount of auto attacks. And we're going to have Blade Master yet again for Armin. Farseer again for Razor. So Farseer, Blade Master clashing once again. It's going to be interesting to see how both players pivot. How is Armin going to transition based on some of the challenges he dealt with in Game 1? The constant Raider hara uh, pressure with Ensnare. The raw amount of summons from the Wolves and the Lava Spawns certainly caused quite a bit of pressure. And another proxy shop online coming online for Razor. Razor, big fan of these proxy shops. We saw it last game as well in the middle of Turtle Rock, and now we're seeing it on the eastern side of Concealed Hill. Razor moving on up, wanting to get a piece of the early game of Armin. Meanwhile, Armin moving on down, maybe going to bump into this proxy shop. That would be quite a cancel, and, and, uh... and there it is. Going to see a cancel from Armin. No more proxy shop for Razor Man. Quite the discovery here. I'd love to see that from Armin. Getting a nice early advantage there. No more shop for Razor Man, but Razor Man unhindered. Moving on into the peasant line, the peon line of the orc player. Peon getting into the war mill and a cancel going off. Now into the bro, into safety, throwing some spears down onto the feral spirits. Blade Master now here to defend his home territory, pushing this Farseer back. And I would have to say objectively, this is not as strong as a push as last game. Armin VB seems to have a better control of the early game here. Catching that early proxy shot is going to be quite an advantage over the next couple minutes here as Razor needs to get that shot back online. 
Blade continuing to go to town on to the Feral Spirits here, pushing the Grunt back as well. And just like game one, we see Armin confided into his base due to the constant pressure of Razorman. Not taking his hand off the wound, keeping it there. And pushing it back. And the damage output of the Burrow is still enough to push back Razor for the time being. Blademaster getting some nice auto attacks onto the Farseer here, pushing him down to 65% health. Going to have to start being careful if Armin is able to get a nice surround. A nice chain of auto attacks onto the Farseer. Might spell trouble. But again, so much damage output from these level 1 Feral Spirits onto the Grunts, onto the Blademaster. Blademaster now forced back temporarily with only 170 health. Sitting in the back of the base now. Now Feral Spirits clawing and eating away at the Blademaster right now. 160 health. Farseer joining the party, getting some auto attacks off as well onto the Blademaster. Blademaster falling to pretty low levels, 140 health, but wants to get this Grunt kill, wants to get the XP. And is going to get it. Blademaster on his way to level 2. Now 50%. Farseer, not a single kill. So a great defense from Armin. Able to protect those peons. Prevent any XP gain from the Farseer here. But that could change right now. That's some nice auto attacks going out onto the Farseer from the Blademaster here. Farseer really trying to secure this grunt kill. And get some sort of experience gain getting started here. Meanwhile, Tier 2 online for Armin. Spirit Lodge online. Stronghold available. Tier 2 can start for Razorman, but Razorman has not started a second hero yet or the level 2 buildings. Shadow Hunter about 30% done, and Armin has a nice Tier 2 lead at the moment. Proxy shot back online for Razorman. In the western center of Concealed Hill. But just like last game, Razor's not going for an altar hero. He's going for a tavern hero, and he's going for the Fire Lord, potentially suggesting another all-in push attempt coming soon from Razor Man. And it was enough to take down Armin VB last game, but what is Armin going to do this game to prevent that from happening twice? Farseer now able to get to that proxy shop, which was canceled earlier in the game by Armin. Now able to get those clarities, get those healing salves out onto the Fire Lord. Clarity onto the Farseer. Stabilize this army for a strong six minute push timing from Razor. The one peon caught out of position, potentially scouting or moving on down just to see what's going on. Is going to pay the price, but does get into the burrow just in time. So some nice peon management here from Armin, getting all damaged peons into the burrows where they need to be. A player's force Completely armed. safe. I'm gonna take down the laboratory camp of Armin. Razorman gonna steal the item here. Rock Golem is gonna drop Scroll the Beast. Could be pretty valuable in an early game push, getting some damage boost to Razorman's units, but the end of the day, Armin is going to snipe down that troll. Take the P Tome of Agility as well as the XP. Reveal use trying to get some visibility of that invisible Blade Master here. And Farseer trying to figure out what's next. Enough mana for another set of wolves. Wolves are summoned. Level 1 still. But that level 2 Fire Lord going to start doing a lot of a lot of damage, a lot of silence. The Incinerate. Getting off to take the Sea Turtle Camp. Meanwhile, Razor Man going for the shop. Ogre Magic going to drop a Wand of Illusion for Razor Man here. Razor Man potentially going to use that. Play some mind games with Armin at the next attack.
Blademaster getting in some good position here. Did buy the Scroll of Healing, going to deny that purchasing capability from Razorman. Razorman is ready to fight and fight now. Insnares going out onto the backline. Shaman of Armin, a nice vicious Tain Lightning onto Armin's army as well. Razorman's Grunts moving back to the backline. Trying to damage these Shaman as the Scroll of Speed is popped. Trying to get that Shaman to safety. Raiders also falling quickly from the damage of the Grunts and the Blademaster. Pulling the Raider back to safety and consequently ensnaring the Blademaster. Locked in position, preventing any further auto attacks from occurring. 46 food army of Razorman able to hold its own against the 44 food of army, Armin. And Razor and Razorman's Raiders both falling right there. Only one Raider left able to lock down. Invisibility popped via Cloak of Shadows from the Shadow Hunter here. Trying to try to get into better position. Does have a healing potion, potentially going to need to pop it, but gets into good position to escape death from Razorman. Razorman, four grunts now, pushing back the five grunt army, the six grunt army, sorry, of Armin VB. Armin VB with a slight unit supply lead at the moment. Farsi are going to loop back around and prevent any clarities or healing salves being popped on this Shadow Hunter. Another raider has joined the fray of Razorman's army. Razorman looking to push this base in. Get some ensnares on those grunts. 43 food now for Armin VB as Razorman takes the supply advantage. Armin VB now trying to push back Razorman's all-in push attempt. Raiders, grunts, Firelord doing damage to the grunts and the shop simultaneously. Farseer in the middle of the Peon line, also getting some auto attacks off onto the Shadowhunter. Shop of Armin does fall. And Snares continuing to go out onto the Grunts, locking them down, but they are still in auto attack range, able to secure a kill for Razorman there. 49 food to 39 food. The food advantage continues to climb for Razorman. Farseer slightly out of position there, taking quite a bit of damage down to 20% health. Burrows are focusing onto the Farseer. Farseer falling one tick at a time. 10 damage per tick. 10, 10, 10. Up, oh, but is now out of range of the Burrow. More Grunts getting ensnared. Razor potentially going to lose one himself as level 3 awarded to the Blademaster. Blademaster opting for level 2 Windwalk. Those Windwalks are going to start hurting more and more as visibility is still able. Reveal is popped on the Blademaster. Continual instairs from the Raiders. Blademaster able to get away just in time. Sneaking away with 58 health. Also Farseer in very vulnerable position. Could die with one well-timed Windwalk and Critical Strike from the Blademaster. If the Blade could just get a little extra mana to start that chain of events. But instead is going to have to fall back. No Clarity Potions able to be purchased. Although one is still remaining in the inventory of Armin. As the shop is rebuilt, Shaman continue to be produced. And much like game one, we do see the Raider push of Razorman continuing here with the double bestiary. And quite a sequence of events in the early game there from both players. Razorman trying to end things a little bit early, getting a nice early game push there breaking down the shop, damaging a lot of the unit count of Armin, but Armin has just enough to prevail, and Armin now also has that level 3 Blade Master. It's going to start being scary. Has the circlet, has the invuln potion. Farseer has the scroll of town portal, but if you can get that Farseer down to critical enough levels, you can get a critical strike as well as Windwalk timed right onto it to end it. A cancel just in time for Armin, able to recoup some of those resources. Some of those raiders are suffering quite a bit of damage. One Windwalk is going to end its life. Reveal popped onto the Blademaster. Blademaster now going to be seen even in the shadows of Windwalk. Grunt being ensnared, locked in place. Same as the Blademaster as Lightning Shield going out onto the Blademaster from the Shaman as the Shaman itself falls. Armin hoping to get some good damage DPS with the Lightning Shield capabilities of the Shaman. And we're going to have a standoff here at the southern tip of Armin's base. More ensnares going out onto the Blademaster. Blademaster was locked in place. Lightning Shield back onto the Blademaster. Getting a lot of damage onto the Raiders. Damage on to the Farseer. Now Shadow Hunter locked in place. Gets a nice chain heal off. No more mana really for any summons. As a big juicy critical strike for Razorman. Razorman pops the TP for health. Just in time. Able to get out by the skin of his teeth. As Armin has just what it takes to fend off the second attack attempt from Razorman. 
Razor Man going back to the proxy shop, trying to get healed back up and potentially keep the pressure on. And with that, thank you for the follow forever. Fan of. Appreciate you. And thank you so much for the follow as well. Shariar Demigod. Gonna pay a visit up to the healing fountain up here. Razor Man's army could really use the healing of this fountain of health at the moment. Meanwhile, Blademaster is on the prowl looking a player's forces are under attack. for the army of Razor Man who has opted to take this camp. What items will he be rewarded with? As one peon moving on over, potentially going to scout out this natural expo. Red Dragon snared. What will it reward Razor Man with? Unfortunately, Armin back at the base, not creeping himself. Razor trying to get any sort of advantage he can via items, via experience. Hilarious Flute. Not going to be the most valuable here with a melee heavy army. But some extra firepower for the Farseer, for the Fire Lord. And maybe the lava spawns of the, the Fire Lord. You'll take it. You'll take it. Back to shop. He's going to sell it right away. Does not feel he's going to get as much value as a scroll of healing. Going to trade it in. Blade Master, not invisible. We'll see. Scroll of healing. One more is in stock, is available. Going to pop Windwalk and move on over to see what is going on with Razor Man and follow him all the way down. Going to catch a Kodo out of position. Purges now out onto the Kodo Beast, locking it down. Some lockdown of Armin's own, and Kodo's going to snipe and chew. On a grunt, chow down, and bring it back to the base. Scroll speed pop to get it to safety. Shaman getting ensnared. Sh uh, lightning shield on to the Shadow Hunter now, who is getting surrounded. Hopefully, the lightning shield will be doing enough damage to force some movement of Razor Man to not soak up all that damage. The lightning shield also on the Blade Master, but so much damage going out from Razor Man. Razor Man, so many raiders, but instead, the Farseer falls from so many auto attacks from the Blade Master and the Lightning Shield damage. Plenty of purges were available, but no longer as the Shaman have all fallen. Just a handful of grunts, two strong heroes as the Blade Master is closing in on level four. Thanks to the security of that kill on that Farseer, potentially also going to secure this grunt kill with Hex. Back at home camp, Farseer bought back immediately some wounded army here. Raiders, Grunts, all in the red. Going to need to figure out how to get them healed back up to full as a Grunt is going to fall. Armin VB that much closer to that critical level four. Instairs going out on the out of position Grunts here. Raiders in some good position, but some of them are weak. Blademaster now level four. Going to get that level two critical strike. Going to slice and dice these Raiders up for dinner. Level 4 Fire Lord is it enough at this mid-game as the Fire Lord does start falling off quite a bit as we go later and later into the game. Focus Fire onto the Farseer again. Razor does not want to make the same mistake twice. Microwing it back into the battle. Shadow Hunter also getting ensnared and Focus Fired by Razor Man. Razor Man trying to get a nice surround onto the Shadow Hunter. Not enough damage from the Siege attack type of the Raiders. Not able to get as much attack as he would like. And another Raider does fall for Razor Man. Razor Man continuing to attack the invisible Shadow Hunter who is revealed by the Ensnare as one more Shaman does fall. No longer able to handle the summons. Level two wolves now out. Dealing as much damage as they can to the Grunt army. It is Grunt on Grunt on Raider warfare right now. Some injured Grunts from Razor Man right into the front of the battle. Going to be microed back to prevent any unnecessary deaths. One more Grunt is ensnared. So much lockdown potential from Razor Man, who has now fallen under the food advantage of Armin with now 50 food. Neither player opting to break upkeep yet at this point in the game. One more Raider going to get away. So Armin was looking to secure a kill there, but unable to get it. One Hex onto the Grunt. This Grunt certainly probably going to fall here as Razor Man does retreat. A necessary sacrifice upon off the board in the grand plan of Razor Man. 
And really back and forth, back and forth action here. Armin versus Razor Man. This Blade Master really trying to carry this game and getting scarier as the game goes on. The critical strikes, the wind walk, just the high damage throughput of the Blade Master now having double invuln pot in the inventory. A player's forces are under attack. Gonna pull back the Drake camp here as well. Take it down, not fight on top of the moon of the uh, Fountain of Hell. Instead, gonna take it down and be rewarded with another flute. Unfortunate for Razorman, but it will give him a little extra gold. Considering he sold it last time, I'd expect to see another sale again, popping the reveal. Blade Master was not revealed, I do not believe. Does not have the debuff currently. Going to try to steal. The Ogre does get the Toma Strength and the experience. Is going to be revealed constantly with the Insnare, chaining the Insnares back to back to back, keeping visibility onto the Blade Master. You see the chain Insnares one at a time, every other second, another Insnare. A, a chain lightning and a potion of invulnerability just popped at 70 health, giving Armin just enough breathing room to potentially escape here, but one mana, no mana remaining. Reveal popped as well. Razorman wants this kill and a nice display of Chain Insnare to keep the visibility there, putting the Blade Master in very critical levels. 163 health, must retreat back. Grunt Army with two Shaman to back up, back at the main base here, as the Blade Master continues to patrol around Concealed Hill, trying to figure out what to do next. And now some long distance mining from Razorman here, as he's taking down the Natural Expo. Here we go, walking on over, Fire Lord, Farseer, the Summoning Brothers, Wolves and Lava Spawns all over. A player's forces are under attack. As the Farseer opts to solo creep, this Ogre Magi will take the item, make some purchases of his own, buys both Scrolls of Healing there, as well as the Potion of Invuln. A Wand of Illusion dropped, might see a sale of one of them pick up, or maybe even both. Instead, opting to Wand of Illusion, all the Kodos going to start playing some mind games with Armin. Which Kodos the real one? Which one do you need to micro your units back so they don't get eaten? These Kodos are hungry, and they want to feast on grunts. Checking on the macros really quickly here. Shaman continuing to be produced by Armin. Razorman's mine is now out, hence the remote mining, long distance mining of Razorman, but is gonna need to mine quite a bit more or sell some items to get a natural expo up. That being said, mine for Armin VB also out. Locked in at 251 gold as potentially the final showdown of the match has begun. Illusion Kodo Beast being purged. Armin VB knew that was an illusion, got it out of the battle immediately. Lightning Shield onto the Peons, trying to get some damage off onto the back line of Razorman. Razorman moving on forward, chain ensnaring the Shadow Hunter here, trying to get a lockdown kill on the Shadow Hunter to prevent any more Hex, any more healing. A nice chain heal goes off on Armin's army. Fire Lord slightly out of position here, going to back up, get to better position, start casting some spells once again. Farseer as well, getting into better position himself. Invuln popped on to the Shadow Hunter. Grunts, Raiders, Kodobis all going to battle into the middle here. Trading back and forth, back and forth. 50 food for Armin VB, 57 for Razorman. We are locked into this unit count right now as both players' minds are out and are long distance mining. Reveal is pop, trying to get visibility of the Blade Master at all times. In snare now pop level three critical strike onto the Blade Master. 192 crit right there. The juicy, beefy crits are now coming are online, and the Blade Master is just single handedly going to town, running through this army. The real Kodo Beasts are now revealed, eating some grunts along the way. One grunt is going to be eaten, and we're going to try to get a surround here from Armin VB, try to rescue that grunt. Long distance mining continues for Razorman. Will it be enough? Needs to get all that gold back to home base. Potentially get some sort of economic stability going on again. Kodo Beast opting to go back down to the Fountain of Health and also regenerating all of the health of the Raiders. It's a very interesting situation here. Neither player has an expo up. Razorman is remote mining. Long distance. 12 peons going to the side mine here. 12,000 left inside of it. Still have the creeps up here 
as Armin wants to get an expo up of some sort or remote mining. But the wolves have a different plan in store. And they're hungry for pee on flesh. And here we go. Level 6 Shadowhunter, level 6... Uh, sorry, level 5 Shadowhunter, level 5 Blademaster. Hoping it'll be enough to turn this game around. Level 3 Chain, heal, level 2 Hex. Hex, level 2, is very powerful, very potent. Able to lock down units or heroes for a very extended period of time. No purge capabilities from Razor Man to dispel it. Raiders are here. Taking down the peons as much as they can prevent any remote mining happening. Peons have transitioned from gold gatherers to warriors. They are bringing out their pickaxes, trying to help as much as they can, but get roasted by the chain lightning of the Farseer here. A lot of the army of Armin did get wounded there from a very critical chain lightning level 5, now being rewarded to the Farseer. Blademaster hoping he has what it takes, but is getting chain ensnared just like last battle. Chain heal goes out onto the Blademaster. Blademaster now stabilized once again, pops a healing potion. Fire Lord being pushed back, as are the Raiders of Razor Man. 46 food to 28 food. Kodos online, ready to eat. All three of them have, two of them have empty bellies, ready to eat what's left of the army. And Razor Man able, not able to get the Fire Lord back in time as the Blade Master chops away, but it will come at the cost of the Shadow Hunter of Armin. Some more ensnares going out onto the Blade Master here. Level 5 Blade Master versus level 5 Farseer. We know who wins this battle one on one, but there are so many other units to consider here. Blade Master trying to get as many auto attacks onto the Farseer as possible. It's going to be so tough with those constant ensnares from Razor Man. These two Raiders have plenty left in their fight here. Another Grunt getting locked down. Armin going to lose what's left of all of his army. Right now, it is just a Blade Master and workers versus three Kodos. Two raiders, a farseer, and wolves, and the remainder of the lava spawns who will be continuing to multiply. More peasants falling, looking a little grimmer and grimmer for Armin, but the level 5 Blademaster is so strong, you can never count him out, but no gold available for either player to res either of their heroes. So level 5 Blademaster is going to be stuck on... Just all alone here versus the entire army. Reveal is used. Blademaster potentially is at the end here and has seen the end. Armin VB bows out as Razorman 2-0s and moves on to the semifinals.